Hi everybody, happy Friday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a full case break of 2019 Bowman Sterling Baseball. 12 bucks, pick your team number three. 60 autos in this break, woo, it's a lot. Big thanks to all these folks who got their teams straight up and to the ones who won their teams in, a, uh, in that super break break. Fidel got the last spot mojo, twins. That's why he has that star next to his name. There's everyone else right there. Thanks everybody for getting in, appreciate it. We've got some baseball on. Yankees 2-1 to one in the second inning early on. The Yankees trying to redeem themselves after getting destroyed last night. I think we're just in the early stages of all the Friday night games, ladies and gentlemen. We'll go through, some, go through the scoreboard in a little bit. Matthew Wick says, no, I don't think that Heritage will be next because the teams are in a team random. Yeah, there's still 10 teams or 10 spots left in that. That's actually pretty close. It could be next if that team random sells out. It's right next to the uh, Heritage product. So not that far away. All right. And... If we if if that is actually next, I'll bet we can get Nick Jaspi lives nearby. I'll bet we can get him to come back and help us out. So we'll make that two hour heritage break turn into an hour long heritage break. So remember this Bowman Sterling Heritage, they, they they take a little bit of time. So if you wanna get some things going tonight, you gotta buy early and often so we don't run out of time. Good luck, everyone. One auto per mini box. I'm pretty sure everything ships in this. Everything ships in that unparalleled as well on the site, jazbeescasebreaks.com. We got 2018 Bowman Chrome Baseball in the store, folks, if you want to get that going, too. Right, Cleveland Rocks. That's why we want to try to do that heritage and get his help earlier rather than later. It is Friday night. All right. Uh, yes, this is a family-owned business. Mike Jasperson. Is the boss Nick? We shorten it to Jaspi. Everyone calls him Jaspi. There's Elo Harris Montero for the Cardinals. That's a uh, hit for Rich, who won that team in a, in that Super Break break. I've known I've known the family much longer than I've worked for them. So so yeah. So it's all it's all connected people. Here, there's Alec Baum for the Phillies. Speckled ninety nine. That's for Aaron Fisher. We'll top load those later. Just in the interest of time, we're going to breeze through those. And there's Matt Mercer for John Mortolaro out of 125. Good to see you, John. Hit for you coming your way. Yeah, it is awesome, Ren. There's Keston Hira to 199, and the autograph behind him is Jordan Adams for the Angels. And Rem, we just moved into our new 3,000 square foot shop here in Hermosa Beach, California. So it's still under construction, still figuring out some some like lighting stuff here in the studio and furnishing the place and getting stuff, getting our card bar in here and all that stuff squared away, getting the signage up. So, but should be ready. For the general public soon. There's Brand Lau to 150. Rays, that goes to Logan. Brand Lau's been having a nice season. Not to be confused with his teammate Nate Lowe. Lowe and Lau. Right 
And we've got Marco Luciano for the Giants. Off Ojo Mojo. I'm a Dodgers guy. Kyle with the Giants. Nice hit, though. All right, so there are your first five. Next box. And Trey saying one left in that random number block for Immaculate Collegiate Football. Excellent. That will be, that could be our next break immediately after this. The number block randomizer and then the, the break itself. So it looks like we're getting a little bit of momentum, folks. Trace says someone else take it so he doesn't spend any more money. I know. You're welcome, John. Yeah, this is this is Trace Trace Trey needs weekend money too, so come on. All right, box two, pick your team three, 2019 Bowman Sterling Baseball. Brand new release, just came out a couple of days ago. Been pulling some, uh, some nice stuff out of here too. There is... Arasnell Wilson for the Braves. That'll be for Tom S. There's Drew Waters, Speckle to 99. And Cedric Mullins for the O's. Gold parallel. 26 out of 50 for John Alfies and the Orioles. Ooh, Trey says he's going to a huge antique and collectible show this weekend. What are you planning on getting? Something you're, you're eyeing? Rem, yes, we are live seven nights a week, Monday through Sunday. <laughs> We're seven nights a week. Two to ten LA time. Colby Allard to 199. And Trevor Larnock for the Twins. Twins were last spot mojo for Fidel. So I'm live Tuesday through Saturday, and my colleague Jason will be on Sundays and Mondays. But we are on seven nights a week. So whatever we don't we don't get to tonight, we'll definitely should be able to do in the next day or two after that. We've got Brock Burke, 16 out of 75 for the Rangers. SKS. It'll be a nice orange parallel there. And Roberto Ramos with uh, going to the Rockies, going to Logan. All right. There are your five autographs there. Excellent. Ooh, Trey collects a little bit of art, some mid-century furniture, so that's the goal. Nice. All right, next one. Well, good luck with your search, Trey. Maybe I need to... I need to go to some local antique thing right here. Try to furnish the studio here.
All right, next one, folks. Good luck. We have some early score updates for you here. Brave, uh, Brewer, Bra Braves, Milwaukee hasn't been the Braves for ages. Milwaukee is up 1-0 on the Nationals in the top of the third. It's been a weird week, folks. Yankees up 2-1 on the Tribe. I'm watching that game on MLB Network right now. Mariners up 2-1 on the Blue Jays. Um, Baltimore at Boston. Red Sox are up 1-0. Cardinals jumping out to early 4-0 lead in Cincinnati. And the Dodgers up early 1-0 on the Braves. Nice show, Otani. Gold. Get that dust out of there. 17 out of 50 for the Angels. And that autograph coming up, too. Get that clean there. Yeah, Rem, we'll do we'll do soccer breaks when, whenever we can. They're just not as common as as you know, obviously baseball and football and basketball. So they don't release too many soccer products each year. But every once in a while we do. I'm a big soccer fan. I support Liverpool in the Premier League and the Galaxy here, in MLS. Elu Harris Montero. One twelve to one twenty five. That's for the Cardinals. That's for Rich. There's Pete Alonso with Tatis Jr. going down with the injury. It looks like Pete Alonso is going to be your NL Rookie of the Year. Oh, I'm definitely better looking, Ray. <laughs> There's Cody Clemens, Rogers kid for the Tigers. That is for June with the Detroit Tigers. There you go. Oh, Ram, you're a Liverpool supporter as well. Nice. Well, hopefully they got Champions League taken care of last year. Hopefully they'll get... Ooh, nice. Hopefully they'll get the title wrapped up this year. Victor, Victor Mesa for the Marlins. Aaron Fisher. Two out of 25 on that die-cut auto. Big prospect, not only in baseball. Not, well, not only for Marlins, but a big prospect for baseball as well. All of baseball. Nice. That is strong. Nice hit. And we got Nico Herner, another nice one. 34 out of 50 for the Cubbies. That goes to Travis Melberg. Got Ian Anderson for the Braves to 199. And behind him is Jonathan Hernandez for the Rangers, SKS with the Texas Rangers. Matt Wicks, I will tell you what my picks are. I'll switch, me top load this real quick. I'll show you these cards. What are, got a number of picks today. So my, my bigger picks of the day are the Nationals at minus 152, Cardinals at plus 140. The Dodgers are rarely underdogs, so I took them as a road dog plus 104, pretty much even money. They're in Atlanta, and I put another slightly larger play on Arizona minus 130. I got a little bit on Pittsburgh, a little bit on Kansas City, and a little bit on Oakland tonight. So let's see how that works out. By the end of this break, well, might do another little quick score update and see where I'm at with my picks, but a lot of games just started, so we've got a little ways to go. Good luck, me. I think the Nationals are down by one. That's a little early. I'm always so nervous about betting the Nationals. That bullpen is kind of garbage. <laughs> You're welcome, Travis. So you never know. Never know what's going to happen there. 
I like St. Louis as kind of bigger road dogs. I don't know why they're plus 140. But they're already up 4 nothing. so so far so good there. And my Dodgers are up early, one nothing, on the Braves. So they, they got looks like they got to Soroka a little early. They're rarely road dogs. So I'd take advantage of that. All right. Next box. I'm actually making some decent time in this break. We might get this solo. I might get this under an hour. All right, next box. Let's get Julio Pablo Martinez into focus. There we go. And we got Blaze Alexander. John Mortolaro with the Arizona Diamondbacks. How many people think that if there was a Blaze Alexander autograph numbered 4 out of 20, you think that would sell better than the other Blaze autographs? I think so. Snakes, John Mortolaro. There's Miguel Amaya, another Cub, to 150 for Travis. There's Dylan Cease to 199 for the White Sox. And we've got Ronnie Mauricio for the Metropolitans for Richard Z. Trade by it. Trade would buy a 420 Blaze Alexander. It would just be too fun. I'm, I hope that Blaze Alexander turns out to be like a pretty decent player. So it would be worth collect, chasing like cards that are 4 out of 20. They usually don't make out of 20s a lot, so it would be kind of a fun chase. Andrew, Andrew Neisner? That KN, right? It's got to be, K's got to be silent. I'm going to go with Andrew Neisner for the Cardinals. That goes to Rich, who got the Cardinals in that randomizer in that super break break. Cleveland Rocks, Joe, are you going to start selling customers' hits that you pull soon? Yes. Once the store, that's one of the, one of the fun things that we want to do once we get the construction in our store all squared away is that big hits that we pull for for uh, for you guys we want to try to work out a system where you can we can sell it directly out of the shop send you break credit Dakota Hudson to 50 and Sal Perez or we can take a cut and send you cash SKS we haven't figured that part out yet but yes that's the idea so Stephen Surrey, who has the Royals, right, could be like, hey, I want to sell this through the shop. And I'll be like, okay, stick it right out there in one of our showcases. Out there and do it. Now early on, just because we haven't really established a big local presence yet, early on it may take a little bit longer to maybe sell a, a hit of yours, you know, but hopefully – as we start growing from in a, in a local sense, that it'll be a lot faster. So we can get to a point, Cleveland Rocks, ideally, later on down the road, we can get to a point where there'll be a lot of locals watching the channel just to see what we pull and just to see if that ends up in the shop, right? Or, that, or the local could be like, let's say they're not into group breaks for whatever reason, but they, you know, they like watching the show and they like the hobby and they like collecting. You know, they could be like, hey, Trey, that, that hit you pulled, you know, I know you probably weren't intending to, but hey, if you, listen, if the Jaspies puts it in the shop, you know, I'll buy it. Maybe even work out a price. We probably won't do it for like $20 cards, you know what I mean? You know, but we probably have to have some sort of minimum, but, but something like, we haven't figured out details, but yes, Cleveland, we are definitely uh, hoping to add that kind of service into the rotation, which would be a nice little spin. We always talk about like the the hobby, there's like a loop, there's a case, a group breaking loop, right? You buy, you receive, you sell, right? The sell part of that loop has always been some of the hardest thing for new collectors. Or a lot of you are like, the general story is, 
hey, I used to collect, I stopped collecting, and now I'm recollecting again. I ended up with this $500 hit, and I realized, oh, I don't do a lot of eBaying, so my feedback is like five. I haven't sold a thing, and who's gonna buy that card for $500 from me from some rando eBay account, right? That's the struggle, so so we can kind of close that, that loop for newer collectors too. Or like if you pull like a nice Dodgers hit or something like that, then you know it's probably gonna sell locally, right? So you can be like, hey, I think that's gonna sell for like 200 bucks, Joe, can we put it in the shop? And we'll be like, all right, and we'll figure out the details on how to keep all that organized and stuff. And, but yeah, we'll get there. That's, that's one of our plans. All right, next box. We got Austin Riley up front. Then we've got Grayson Rodriguez for the O's. That's going to be for John Alfie's and the Orioles. There you go, John. Oh, the Braves jumped out to a 3-1 lead on Kenta Maeda. It's going to be one of those games, huh? Come on, Kenta Maeda. What the hell? I'm going to go to MLB game day and see what, what's going on here. Oh, and Acuna singles on a sharp line drive to center field. Cody Bellinger, Hechevaria scores, Matt Joyce the third. Oh, and Matt Joyce had an RBI too, all right. Still early, still lots of time. There's CNL Perez for the Astros to 99, Speckle, and Logan Gilbert for DMAC and the Mariners. Seven out of 25. Oh, the, run, the one run that the Dodgers scored, that was a Bellinger homer. It's got 41 now. I think that's league leading 41. Justice Sheffield to 199, and we've got Alec Baum. Nice. Big corner infield prospect. Third base, I think, for the Phillies. Aaron Fisher with the Fightins. We're going to see Bryce Harper's Grand Slam walk-off. We all watched that together, or you guys listened to it, but Nick and I were in the middle of a break, and we fired up on my MLB.TV account and saw him hit launch a moonshot to walk it off. That was wild. Ooh. Another Victor Victor Mesa, 47 out of 125. Aaron Fisher with the Marlins. Back-to-back -back Aarons. Nice hits. There's Brock Death Rage, my favorite metal band, Death Rage. That'll go to June, Shinoda, and the Tigers. One of their recent draft picks right here. All right, here we go. Speaking of eBay, some guy, some guy, Trey, saying, sold his LeBron with the title, with just the title, quote, LeBron rookie card. Sold it for hundred sixty thousand dollars. Yeah, well, when you have a hit like that, you don't you don't need a good eBay account. Pe people, as long as it pictures look legit, we'll do it. All right, good luck. One hundred sixty thousand dollars. That is wild. All right, next box. Good luck, folks. George, what's unbelievable? $106,000 for a LeBron rookie card? That's pretty wild. He has the, the picture is on, if the car's on his car console with the glare across it, yeah. No one's trying, no one's trying to hoodwink you there. And it's like. All right, next box. Hmm. 
Can you imagine like paying for a, a card, one hundred sixty thousand dollars? Like, what do you do? You do it through your PayPal? Like, how does that work at that level? You have to send a send a cashier's check or something like that. Put on layaway. All right, there's Reese McGuire to 199. Blue Jays, that's for Richard Z. And Victor Victor's brother, Victor Mesa Jr. for the Marlins and Aaron Fisher. Aaron Fisher with the fish. Oh, one, oh, the auto. George, we're... We're only halfway through. There's 35 autos to go, 34 autos to go. I wouldn't worry just yet. Oh, I thought I didn't thought you were talking about something else. I was like, surely George is not talking about the break. With 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and then three more autos here to go. It's plenty of time. I wouldn't get nervous until we're maybe down here, around there. There's Noel V. Marte for the Mariners. That's for DMAC. There's Brendan McKay for the Rays to 50. That'll be for Logan. And there's Chad Spangenberger for the Blue Jays. It's for Richard. <laughs> yeah, some guy just has $160,000 in his PayPal balance. Just sends that right over. Kevin Kramer, Jake Cave, and Sheldon Nusey. Speckle autograph for the A's. Jason Rice with the Athletics. It's 92 out of 99 on that one. And Kiebert Ruiz. Nice Dodger for George. See, George? Nothing to worry about, man. Nothing to worry about. Big catching prospect for the Dodgers. He's supposed to be a better hitter than Will Smith, who's up right now. Nice one for my boys in blue. There's Christian Yelich. 7 out of 10. That's for John Alfie's and the Brew Crew. There's your next five autographs. 30 more autographs to go, ladies and gentlemen. We are halfway through this one. Did that uh, number block sell out for Immaculate Collegiate? Oh, come on, Kentamite. He's walked the bases loaded. Two outs though. He already has 37 pitches through two innings. That's not going to be not good. Mothra saying, if I had 160 Gs, there'd be a lot more other stuff that I'd do with than buy a card. I don't know. You never know. Maybe 160 Gs to that person is like 100 bucks to him. <laughs> what would be 100 bucks to us? All right. Kentamaya gets out of that inning. Freddie Freeman flies out. All right, so we should be done with this break at about the top of the hour. And Trey, I think, is saying, oh, are you saying yes to the number block being sold out? I think that's what you're referring to. Yes, it is. So Immaculate Collegiate Football will happen after this break. And what should we do after that?
So here's an updated schedule in the chat. There's Pete Alonzo to 199. Nice one for the Mets, Richard Z. And Cole Wynn for Steven Surrey and the Rangers. Logan, what are you worried about? You're not, certainly not worried about this break. Both of your teams have hit already. And we still have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 29 autos to go. Cole Wynn, first round pick for the Rangers going to SKS. Grayson Rodriguez to 150. I think we will go to the National next year. I don't think we're going to go all the way down to Wildwood, Mothra. We probably don't have time for that. Why don't you come up to Atlantic City? That'd be easier. The rest of the gang will probably be there too. Grayson Rodriguez to 150 for the O's. John Alfies. Nick Madrigal. Nice Nick Madrigal for the White Sox. That's going to go to EA Sports. It's in the game. That's a nice hit. There he is again, gold, three out of 50. Could be a big prospect for the White Sox. Coming up the ranks, White Sox could have a really strong young core in the next couple years. Mitch Keller is up. And there's Miguel Amaya, Cubs, Travis. That's not that far, Mothro. If you come up to Atlantic City, we've co we would we would be coming across the country. An hour for you is nothing. There's Eloy Jimenez to 99. Speckle for EA. Chance Adams, Yankees. George with the Bronx Bombers. Yeah, we're most likely going to go to the National next summer, so I'm sure we'll organize some sort of meetup in Atlantic City. We did a little one last time I was there in Atlantic City. Played a little blackjack with a couple of regulars. And that was good times. All right, next box. Pick your team three. Working on it. box. Oh, that's not bad. Hour and a half? We would be taking, we'd ta we're taking a flight across the country. An hour and a half is nothing. Mothro, to visit us? When we've come all the way across the country? 3,000 miles? Hours on a plane. You're gonna make us drive another hour and a half just to, to make to just to get just to get to you. It'd be easier if the whole crew gets to us. We'll we'll be in a central location in Atlantic City. We'll have a meetup, Mothro. You got to join us, and you can meet all the other East Coasters that are in the chat. You can put faces to names. Josh James to 199 for the Astros and an orange Matt Mercer for John Mortolaro and the Snakes. 74 out of 75. Johnny O, what's going on?
There's Ronaldo Hernandez for the Tampa Bay Rays. That goes to Logan. He could get his autograph a little bit larger. It looks nice, but just needs to be a little bit bigger. Ronaldo, we can work on that. We'll work on that. Uh oh. What's your dilemma, John? We'll try to help. A hobby dilemma, perhaps? There's Brock Berg. Rangers. That'll be for SKS. Was lucky enough to score a Yelich Rinter Gip card, a rip card, pretty cheap. Now do I rip or keep? Oh man, what does everyone think? What, what's it numbered to? There's Jonathan India, 25, 21 out of 25. That's for the red legs, that's for, uh, for Danny. There's Ryan Baruki, rookie auto for the Blue Jays. 76 out of 125. That's for Richard Z. Out of 75, but keep in mind that John is a, uh, is a Brewers guy, so it might be tough for him to rip. But out of 75, there's Dean Kramer for the O's. That'll be for... John Alfie's. But out of 75, I feel like you kind of have to. Now, if it was like a lower number, maybe around, if it was out of 25 or out of 10, I'd be like, hmm. All right, another five autos in the books. We've got five, 10, 15, 20 autographs to go. Good luck. I would personally, I mean, I'd be tempted to rip it because I feel like I could probably buy another out of 75 rip card. You know what I mean? So I feel like I would always be able to be like, all right, I could probably pony up and buy another out of 75 yellow trip card. If I'm not happy with the with whatever is inside, you know. I would give it a shot. Trey says rip. What does everyone else think? Rip it or keep it. America's favorite game show. Rip it or keep it. Game show only comes around once a year. Dennis Moore says rip it. Alan Murdoch says rip. I say rip too. Again, if it was a lower number, um, you know, I'd be like, nah, yeah, probably not. But that's up to you. Don says, actual bid on eBay for that rip card is about fifty-four ninety-nine, ending in about an hour. How much profit can you make? Well, it all depends on what's inside. But I mean, you know, maybe like a, a short print of a popular player may uh, may get you about that back, maybe a little bit less. I don't know. But if you get like a one of one, like wood mini or something like that, or an autograph or something, you know. Yeah, one of one sketch stained glass stuff. Then, yeah, you'd be making, depending on the player, double, triple, you know, quadruple the the cost of that fifty five bucks. But of course, the risk, the gamble is: do you rip it or keep it? Out of seventy five, Ella Harris Montero, Cardinals, Rich Schmidt. There's Travis Swaggerty for the Pirates. Ooh, there's a redemption coming up. Any guesses on that redemption? Ooh, nice. What's the what's the price on that, Steve Olson? That diamond icon Derek Jeter I got you out of five. 
There's Corbin Burns. Two out of 99. Brew Crew. John Alfie's with the Brewers. How much time is left, Steve? John's saying 20 rip cards he's ripped in his life and never got anything more than the short print mini. Well, today could be the time where it's something else. Nice Sixto, Cito Sanchez. Sixto Sanchez. 10 out of 10. Atomic for George and the Pirates. And another Nico Herner. Speckle. 68 out of 99 for Travis and the Cubs. Anthony Pickett did the Mac of the One Box number two football break yesterday. We did one box break eight yesterday, which I think I forgot to upload and it uploaded today. Logan wants to see this guy in the redemption. He is a redemption. There's Luke and Baker for the Cardinals. That's also for Rich, who got that nice break for the Cardinals, got that team and that super break team random. All right, hour and 40 minutes. Oh, that's plenty of time. That's plenty. Keep us posted. All right, if you have the link, drop it in the chat. I'll allow it. Or actually, you might not be able to. I think YouTube automatically stops that. Prospect autograph of... A... N... T... H... O... Oh, I know this. is Anthony Siegler for the Yankees. It's a good prospect for the Yankees. That one goes to George. And the Bronx Bombers won that team in that break, that super break break. Yeah, usually all the bidding happens in like the last 30 seconds, Steve Olson. Anthony says, oh, you, it's two days ago and you haven't seen it? $35 per random team? Um, shoot me an email on that, Anthony. We've done one box immaculate collegiate football breaks. We've done one box breaks of that. But number two, we haven't done... Number two was a little while ago. But shoot us an email, jazbeescasebreaks at gmail.com, and our team will be able to dig that up for you or give you some info on that. Thanks. All right, it's already, already cut those. All right, Dodger scratch a run back. They're down. They're down two, three, two, in Atlanta. Fifteen autographs to go. Still a lot. A lot of autographs left to go. Cross your fingers. Good luck, everybody. Aren't the Dodgers like 99 games above 500? Is even fun watching them anymore. It's always fun to watch winners, John O. Always fun to watch winners. I've also had financial interest on the Dodgers tonight, too. They're still going for uh, the best record in baseball, home field advantage throughout the playoffs. That's, that's, the, that's the big carrot right now. There's Franklin Perez for the Tigers. That is for June Shinoda with the Tigers, little cat team mojo. Yeah, NL Central has been wild, though. Like, who knows who's going to be in first place on any given day? 15 out of 199, Casey Mize reveals a Julio Rodriguez for the M's. 
That's for DMAC. It's a strong one for the Mariners. 76 out of 150 as well. And th oh, it is eight. Yeah, I, I think I forgot to upload that last night, but it, we did upload it today under today's date. So if you look at our list of videos, you should be able to find it. All right. What else do we have? What do we got next? We got Jordan Groshans for the Blue Jays. That's going to go to Richard Z. Yeah, I think, Steve, you used to be able to share a link but I'd have to like approve it. But I think YouTube changed something in their chat settings. There's Chance Adams. And so now it just it just prevents you from the get-go. I don't even get to I don't even have the option to share it. Um, you might be able to share the, the list of numbers though. Each eBay auction has an has a string of numbers. An auction ID. If you drop that in there, people may be able to search by that. Chad Spanderberg, three out of fifty for the Blue Jays. Gold auto for Richard Z. And the fifth and final autograph in this box, Brady Singer for the Royals. And that's going to go to SKS. Nice. 10 autos to go. Trey saying just search uh, Jeter icons in the search box pops right up. Nice. We'll take a glance at that after this break. Let's keep, a, keep an eye on the Jeter, see how it goes. All right, good luck, everybody. So after that big offensive output yesterday, the Indians-Yankees game, there's only three runs scored between the two teams in the bottom of the fifth. All right, thanks. So yeah, if anyone wants to go check that out, you can type in that ID, copy and paste that, or just search Jeter icons, and it should be the one ending in about an hour and, uh, an hour and 35 minutes or so. All right, Victor Mesa Jr. autograph. Victor Victor's brother going to Aaron Fisher and the fish. We got Jesus Sanchez for the raise to 199. And whoa, a dual autograph. One is a White Sox, Luis Robert, and the other is a Yankee, Esteban Floriel, Speckle. Where's the number on that? Wow, one happy person, one sad person. That's our first dual auto we've seen. First multi-auto we've seen. It's a Speckle parallel, I can't, don't see the number on the, wow, there it is. One out of three. Ooh. One really happy person and one really sad person.
White Sox, EA, will he be happy or sad? Yankees, George, who got that in a team random. In Super Break, will he be happy or sad? We're going to find out at the end of the break, folks. There's Julio Pablo Martinez for the Rangers, SKS. Jesus Lazardo, Speckle out of 99. That's for the Athletics, Jason Rice with that. We got Brandon Marsh for the Halos. That's going to be for Jason Rice as well, back to back. And or Elvis Martinez, 148 to 150, Toronto Blue Jays. That's going to be for Richard Z. Pretty, if you're if you're into the baseball prospect and two sort of bigger names right there too. Speckle design too. I think that looks pretty sharp. I know George is here. Is EA here? Where's EA? Maybe he doesn't even want to watch. That's a tough randomizer. Good luck, everybody. Coming up after this, schedule is in the chat. We're going to do a quick randomizer for that number block, and then we'll dive into that immaculate collegiate break. Then I don't know what is sold out after, what's going to sell out after that. Is anything sold out after immaculate collegiate? I know there are a number of breaks that are pretty close. Um, looks like Unparalleled is moving a little bit. Look, that Bowman Chrome baseball break is down to 11 now. 11 left straight up. So it looks like that's kind of where people are leaning. Really want to do that tribute tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Let's try to do that tribute baseball. Let's knock that out tonight. All right. Last five autos, and then the uh, randomizer, the scary randomizer. There's Brock Berg for the Rangers, another one for SKS. We got Kyle Tucker, one out of 25 for the Strohs. That's going to go to DMAC. Bo Naylor for the Tribe. That's going to go to Melbourne. There you go, Travis. What do I think the the uh, the Jeter card will end at, Steve Olson? Whatever is going to make you happy. That's the price I want. It's got to go over more than that 380, though. 380 feels a little low. Ryan Mountcastle to 199 reveals another Nico Herner for 
Melberg. Nice break for you, Travis. Trace is 485. Yeah, I feel like I feel like 450 to 500 feels pretty good. I feel like he's got the ceiling for like 6 650 though. There's Akil Badu for the Twins. It's for Last Bond Mojo, Fidel Cairo. I don't think we've seen this guy yet. And the fifth and final auto is Grayson Rodriguez. 37 out of 99. Speckle autograph for the Orioles, John Alfies. All right. Sad times and happy times. Both times are happening. All right, let's go back to the list. First of all, we're gonna do the break credit. So let's sort your names alphabetically right here. There you go. Gotta buy at least two to get one entry. Four entry, four spots will get you two, et cetera, et cetera. So Aaron got two, you get one entry. DMAT has two, you have one entry. George, you have three, which is just two entries. So that'll still be a chance for you to get 100 bucks of break credit. Jason Rice has three teams. That's one, just one entry. John has two. That equals one. John M has two. That equals one. Logan has two. That equals one. Richard Z has two. That equals one. SKS has two. That equals one. And Travis Melberg has two. That equals one. So that's not bad at all. That's 10 names on that list. You have a 1 in 10 chance at 100 bucks of break credit. And then we'll close out with the train whistle. White Sox and Yankees. The Luis Robert and Esteban Floreal dual autograph. White Sox is EA. Eric Ange. And the Yankees, George. All right, let's roll it and randomize it. Four and a five, nine times. Let's do the money first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. Name on top after nine is George. There you go, George. 100 bucks of break credit going your way. Four and a five, nine times for this dual auto. One, numbered one out of three. One happy person, one sad person. Good luck to both of you after nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight and ninth and final time. After nine stays with the Yankees. Wow. That's George. George wins the money. George wins the dual autograph number to three. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. We've got more Sterling in the store, folks, but not a lot. Get after it on jazbeescasebreaks.com. And we'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.